Hey, what man? There's an expansion for King Arthur Knight's Tale coming out. Which looks pretty interesting. I think the base mechanics of that game were very good. So, I'm pretty interested in playing this. It's like a standalone expansion. So, I'm pretty keen to try that, honestly. Because, like, if they balanced it better, like, the combat in that game would have been excellent. The problem was that it was too easy to break it. Two flames versus one can suck because of the cloud. Hmm. Agree to disagree. Also, flamers are faster, so they get into position quicker. Like, they're just generally a more versatile unit. Where are you going, Mr. Buggy? Nice chems, my guy. Do we think these chems are going to do anything? Or are they just going to run around and get murdered? Kind of looks like they're just going to get murked. So tempted to try and Jade Missile. One of his chem warriors. I think it's probably not actually worth it. Why don't I just make Banshee? That's the real question. Wait, why am I not on the pads? What the hell? What am I doing, chat? Why were they not on the pads? What am I doing? I'm terrible playing. Playing this deck does make me miss bikes quite often. It's like everybody has Banshee now. The bike is the best thing against it. Oh, that killed way more than I wanted it to. The thing is, like, if you have two flamers versus a chem, you won't kill- the chem won't come close to killing both of them. The flamers will win pretty comfortably. And they only cost 20 tib more. Like, two chems are the same as three flamers. Three flamers definitely wrecks two chems. Yeah, I've seen that, Nara. They said that, like, they did, like, um, they did the, the, like, roguelike deck builder, and they, and they said, like, they were gonna build two games, because they were like, oh, we don't, we don't think we can do everything we want to do in a single game, so we're just gonna make two games, which I thought was pretty interesting. Ah. Hmm. Mr. MLRS would be a problem. He is suiciding it to get the missile, but... Getting the missile is usually a pretty good, pretty good play. He just surrenders? It's weird. Alright, GG. Probably had no outs to laser. Can you imagine having no outs to laser? That is actually insane. 
I'm getting Gren rushed. Yikes. Jeez. I think my harvest is dead. This is not good for me. Because to fight the Rhino, I need tank. I might just be dead. This might be like a matchup loss because the way he's. Like, because he Gren rushed me into Rhino, I don't think I can beat this. My deck doesn't really have any outs to it. Alright, well, we're obviously not going to give up. Now that we have this tank, we have a chance, I guess. Maybe we're just not dead at all, in fact. Maybe we're fine. He hasn't got two halves, so he's not going tech. He has a predator, though. That's a problem. Wow, I can't believe the pred locked onto my scorpion there. That's crazy. I don't really care too much about this missile. Like, I'm so far behind right now. Kind of just need to catch back up. His deck looks very good against mine, though. He's got Pred and Rhino. There's a lot of Rhinos. I don't know, man. I don't know if I can win this. This is very reminiscent of back in the day when Rhino was super OP and Sud used to Rhino rush people with, like, plus two Rhinos. Which were actually unbeatable. Like they, like they were, they were so strong. There was no unit in the game that could beat them. So if someone rushed you with plus two rhinos, you just lost the game. There was nothing you could do about it. Okay, maybe we're not dead. Feels good, man. Looks like not dead. Kind of Gren Rush. It's a surreal. That was a surreal experience. Someone in my YouTube comments actually said I'd like to see how you handle a Gren Rush. I'm pretty sure they were like, "Oh, I've tried playing your decks, but I I, I don't know how you deal with a Gren Rush." Well, now you've seen a Gren Rush, I guess. Oh, that's going to be good. Woo! Two snipers, two Grens. That's a good Jade missile right there. That is a good Jade missile. Wow, I kind of can't believe I won this game. That was surprising. Even how it started out. Mission accomplished. Establishing battlefield control. I wonder if I wonder if five years into the game, and like two point like what two years and ten months or something. Do you think people now believe me when I say I don't care about Rank 1 Alliance? Because <laughs> I've been saying it forever and people are like, oh, you're just saying that, you don't believe, like, obviously you do care because you try so hard and all this. I'm like, no, we just happened to get Rank 1. No one here is actually trying that hard for it. Now that we're like three years of us not having Rank 1 or caring about it or trying, do you think people actually might finally believe me when I say that I genuinely don't care about Rank 1 Alliance? Are there mods for YouTube? Uh, I don't believe so.
I suspect that it is possible to give someone the ability to moderate your comments on YouTube, so I guess yes. There must be there must be some way to give somebody the ability to moderate your comments on YouTube. Which I guess is the same as what you're asking, right? Oh, that's annoying. Dogs are so hard to kill. The main thing I'd struggle against now is air. I guess I'll make some lasers. That deck seems pretty cheap. Doesn't seem to have much late game going on. Basically, just made pit bulls, dogs, and missiles the whole game. This guy is called Mega. I'm intimidated by his Mega name. I got a call from the place doing my um, the shelving unit for, for the Lego display today, but I was indisposed and have not managed to call him back yet. But hopefully that'll be done in the next few weeks. And then the background will stop being so bland. I'm going to put some stuff up there. Yeah, I really wish they'd change the diamond maps. It is very sad. The fact that he's got an air tower makes me think he's going Orca. If he's going Orca, I should probably pressure his missiles. Because if he's going to make an Orca, I don't... Yeah. If he's going to make an Orca and start one-shotting my buggies, I don't want there to be missiles for him to run back to. This was not a very successful Orca. Rowan Swarm seems like an odd choice given the situation. If it is this Suzaku APC, certainly has the hallmark characteristics of a Suzaku APC day. I have not seen at least five cards of Suzaku APC. In fact, six if you consider the strong arm. The Zaku APC is definitely a deck that has suffered massively at the hands of the Banshee buff. Because, like, one of its best things was that it really, like, Nod really struggled with Drone Swarm. And now you have Banshee, and Drone Swarm is not really a scary unit anymore. Unit ready. 
Holy shit, that's a lot on bottom. Oh, I'm not on the top pad, whoops. I was definitely supposed to be on the top pad still. Oh my god, so many misclicks. He should be shooting this Banshee that's almost dead, then his drone swarm would live. Oh well, whatever. GG, Mega. I have, I have read it, Jeffrey. Oh, I didn't realize there was so much to it. Absolutely, absolutely janker. I tell you what, this, uh, I think this redemption, this redemption to change the stream title, we should probably get rid of. Because it's basically just Flint who uses it and he makes the title something weird. And then people think I made the title. So they ask me questions about it. And I don't have any answers for them because I didn't make the title. <laughs> I don't remember why we added it as a redemption. I think it was, I was just low on ideas of things to allow people to redeem. Razorback Gren is quite an annoying combo. Am I going to make it to the pad? I'm actually not sure. Oof, barely. Oh my god, that was close. All right, GG, well played. Look at these sick Raider vibes I'm getting. Oh, not not so much anymore. I wonder if the direction the unit chooses to turn on turn in is based on is based on anything. Cause like I was ro trying to rotate my banshee there, and it was like turning away from his unit. But I wonder if there's like a default, or if it's just uh, if it's to do with like where it's originally facing or something. Like if it is facing one, like if I do this, well obviously it'll turn left if I do that. Well anyway, I don't know. <laughs> just musings, musings of the tip grinder. Link shot as well. This guy's got a super annoying deck. Alright, see ya. See ya, stuff! I don't even know if I got anything. It looks like I got basically just the Razorback. It's a bit shit. I don't think he was expecting me to make several tanks, given the units that he made in response. Right, GG cheese. No one has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Hmm, scary mutants. What do we think, mutant chuggy? Hems, it's beef wall. It's the rarely seen beef wall. Oh, I'm just gonna make my own chems then, I guess. Oh, 
man, there's no respect for these mutants' lives. This guy's just throwing them away like they're nothing. What, what am I doing? Oh my god, chat. Let's not talk about it. Let's pretend we didn't see anything. He's playing Jade, that's kind of scary. He could totally Jade me. Probably not though, given he keeps making 60 cost units, he probably can't afford a Jade. Everything to the half, I'm assuming? Yeah, sure, you got it, boss man. I'm gonna send stuff at your base. Let's see who wins. It is Mutant Chuggy, but he's also got chems. This deck is very weird. Now let's see who wins. Is it the person who gets the halve or the one who kills the opponent's base? Can anyone clarify for me? I can't remember. Let's find out. Ah, it was the base kill. Well, who knew? Who knew? I'll tell you what I did get sent a key for. There's a game called Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And it's like a super in-depth city builder where you have to do like actually everything. Like you literally have to like farm the grain to turn into food. I think you have to, oh yeah, you have to, if you, if you want to build a build, you know how in SimCity when you build a building, you literally just like, you click the building and you click where you want it to be and then you build a building. In this game, you designate a location where you want your building to be produced. And then you have to get the concrete there. Like, you have to actually deliver the building materials to the building site if you want to build the building. It sounds very intense. I think I don't really understand what you're saying, Janka, to be perfectly honest. Like, you'll say, so there's a stationary Banshee, and there's a unit in front of and behind it simultaneously, and you're saying it changes target to the one behind, and that screwed you. Is that what you're saying? Am I understanding correctly? Mm, incorrect harvester spot. Now your harvester is pressurable from the middle of the map. This is why you should put the harvester at the top, because if you're near the middle of the map, then if your opponent wins an engagement in the middle of the map, is where you're going to be fighting, they can immediately push onto your harvester. Am I going to base kill? I might as well, right? Since I'm here. Oh, never mind. There's a buggy in the way. It's going to cause problems. Can't base kill from that spot anyway. So I have, I have two characters in Rogue Trader at the moment that are like, each one of them is better than the rest of the team put together, I'd say. Obviously excluding the other one. Um, but then I've also had several encounters in the game which if my characters were not super strong, I definitely wouldn't have been able to win. So I don't know if like you're expected to have these characters be this busted. What's up, Dead Bob? Like, I've had several fights where I would have got absolutely wrecked if I did not have Ultra Busted character. I don't really care that much if he gets 20 tib off his wheels, you know. 
more I think about it, it's really not my problem. Okay. You got it, boss man. I think a lot of people kind of forget that you can do this. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, move my entire army onto your half, and you're like, okay, the half moves. They're like, oh no, I hadn't considered that your harvester would just not be in the place to die anymore. Hadn't hadn't played around you just moving your harvester. It feels like a pretty obvious thing to play around, honestly. He must be. He's, he's no half, right? Like he's full no half, I assume. I might let him hit the harvester a bit more. Get it low enough that I can gauge missile it to death. Yeah, that seems good enough. Alright, GG. No half kill for you, friendo. Do I need a half? I don't I think I do. I think my deck needs a half. I don't think I play no half. He really made a concerted effort to push that harvester though. He had like two scavs, two scavs, a bike, and a wheel. And he boosted one of the scavs to go after my harvester and I just moved it. And he was like, well, that's that then I guess. GG. <laughs> that's all it took to defeat his mighty plans. Maybe he's about to make an avatar with all this scavenger money. Oh my god, Giga Cannon, bro, get out of my game. Actually get out of my game. All right, GG. You think it's gonna be half a year, Dice? That's kind of sad. I am talking about Rogue Trader, yeah. That really is quite annoying. This guy, this guy strikes me as a bike rusher, so I'm gonna go rifles first. He didn't bike rush. Interesting. Oh, Tacticus? Yeah, I didn't like that game at all. I thought that game sucked. That's a mobile game though, so you've got to expect it to be a bit rubbish. Yeah, exactly. I understand why people do it, Jeffrey. Like, they release the game early because they need the cash flow to finish development. I understand. I'm not hating on, like, the logic behind it. I'm hating on the fact that people release games, but they're just not done. So, like, you, buy you go to buy a game and you're like, oh, it actually isn't finished. And then you've got games that do the opposite, where, like, uh, they, they release in early access, but they're actually just done and then they're just adding loads more content like against the storm And that makes me like those games a lot like the against the storm devs I will buy whatever they make next. I don't care what it is like whatever their next game is I'm 100% buying it because they've done such a good job with against the storm that I have like full confidence in them now whereas the owl cat one I'm like if they release another epic RPG. I will consider playing it at some point there's no way I just snap by it, right? Like, because they usually release their games in a bad state. Against the Storm devs, or like FTL, right? Like, whatever the FTL maker makes next, I'm buying it. I know they made it. They made it through the breach, which I wasn't that keen on, but I still bought it. Like, I, I have, I had enough faith that I was like, I'm just gonna snap by your game. I don't care what it is. I didn't like. I wasn't a huge into the breach fan, but whatever they make next, I'll buy that as well. There's so much goodwill from the state they released their games in and how good their games were that I will just snap by whatever they make next. Like, Slay the Spire dev is making a new game. I don't care what it is, I'm buying it. Like, whatever that game is, I'm buying it. Like, not close. Won't even think about it. I'm just gonna snap by whatever their next game is. But it's like the fact is that when someone releases a game like in a good state now, it's like it's surprising and that's a sad state of affairs. But you're like pleasantly surprised when somebody releases a game and it just works. That shouldn't be the thing, that should be the norm. I shouldn't be surprised when someone releases a game and it's a, it works and it's playable. That should just be, that should just be the standard. And I get that because they have online patching, that's why people do it as well. It's because like if you release a game in a bad state back when everyone was CDs, 
that game was just that game was just garbage and they would never really get fixed. These days you can release a game in a bad state and fix it later. And I think that leniency is uh, is not necessarily a good thing for consumers. Well, then maybe it is. Maybe the fact that more game devs have time to finish their games is actually uh, is better for us. I don't know. BG3 won Steam Game of the Year. Yeah. That is not surprising to me at all. BG3 should win, like, all the awards. It was definitely the best game of the year. Have I played Dragon Dogma? No, I have no idea what Dragon Dogma is. Wait, why is this guy... Why is this level 10? Am I in Platinum League game? Bruh. I'd be really interested to like see the reaction of a player. Like, let's say this this guy, right? He's gone. He's got like rifles and two halves. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and say that I'm gonna win this game because that would be, you know, arrogant of me. But I think it's reasonably likely that I win this game. I'm curious if afterwards he would think to himself, like, oh, my strategy didn't seem good at all because of how this game went. Or if he'd just be like, oh, the matchmaking sucks. I played against a guy who's like Masters 2 and I'm in, in shit league still. I'd be curious to like to hear what his... Oh, shit. I'd be curious to hear what his thoughts are after the end of this game. If he was like, oh, I, my, my strategy was bad. Or like, his stra or, like it just, he just thinks the matchmaker sucks. Like, is there any chance he did... Like, his strategy was basically make some infantry flame tank rush. Like... I'm not going to go ahead and say he definitely was going to send Flame Tank at my base, but I think we can probably assume the Flame Tank was going to go straight to my base. Mission accomplished. That game is awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm really tempted to play it. Well, I want to play, I want to play Slay the Princess. I also really want to play Dave the Diver still. Because that game also, just everyone's like, this game is great. So I really want to try that out. I think I would enjoy it as well, Jeffrey. Although it does look very weird. Dave the Diver's amazing and on sale. How big a sale are we talking? If it's like 20%, I'm not interested. Like, I want to play it, but I won't snap by it because it's on 20% sale. It's not that expensive a game anyway, so I'm not really that fast. I'll pay full price for it if it gets to... If I decide I want to play it and it's not on sale, I'll just pay full price. It's 20%, yeah. That's, that's like, given how old the game is, 20% sale seems about right for this time. There's so many flamers, bro. This guy has played not as well as Jordanian, who beat me twice in this map. Alright, GG. GG Grand Tour. I'm going to be pretty sad if I actually do hit Act 3 in Rogue Trader and just get like a bunch of bugs. Because also sometimes the people who give negative reviews and be like, oh, you like get, you know, 
screwed by bugs. They just got like hard locked once and they're pissed about it. So it's not clear to me quite how buggy it'll be. I think on this map I'm gonna go rifles. Crackhead's my guy, you pop capping me. He's not very friendly of you. He is pop capping me, what a dick bag. Not chill, my dude. Not chill at all. What a bag of dicks, cat. Elf tank. Seems like a weird choice. Really of the glory days, maybe. Where stealth tank killed everything. I assume he's gonna make an air unit now. Or he's DC. Looks like he's disconnected. Alright, GG, my guy. Unlucky on the disconnect. World War II armies is coming to Steam. Ooh, exciting. I would definitely, uh, I would definitely make more videos for those guys if they wanted me to. I've got a gift of Slay the Princess. <laughs> Amazing. But who has sent me such a gift? Objective complete. Yeah, they were saying, they were saying they were going to sponsor more videos for me, and then um, they did the thing they just said to you, where they were like, "Oh, we decided not to sponsor videos anymore." What was it about your old videos they wanted to use exactly? What they should have done if they were if they were sensible is put in the original contract that whatever you make for them they they own. That's like pretty rookie error, honestly. Like when they originally offered you money to make videos, they should have put in the contract that they owned the the video content. That way they could use it. That way they could use it themselves without having to ask you. Yeah, I also delete pretty much all of my source stuff as well. <laughs> he accidentally boosted the half. That's a beating. 
Once I've uploaded the video, I basically delete like the the source file. Maybe like a week later, normally. Interesting. I wonder if they just sent that email to try and get the source material, like rather than actually going to offer more more sponsorship. Because it sounded like they were done with it. I mean, obviously, if they want to sponsor again, I, I would accept very happily. <laughs> I would definitely do it for less than they paid me last time as well. Like, I think they paid me more, a lot more than, was, than I needed. So yeah, I'm kind of okay just like not going out on New Year's Eve most of the time. Yeah, the last two years I didn't go out on New Year's Eve. The last two years because I was in Sheffield as well, like not near any of my friends, my New Year's Eve plans was like watch a film, go to bed. And to be honest with you, that was a good New Year's Eve. I was perfectly content with that. <laughs> I didn't need anything else. That was absolutely fine. By the time I got, I also when I got home from the pub on New Year's Eve, I was like, hmm. Like Cheryl was like, oh, I'm going to bed. I'm like, all right, fair enough. I was like, what am I going to do? Because I'm not, not really tired yet. I was like, just going to play some fucking Road Trader. <laughs> so my early morning, 1st of January, I was just playing Road Trader. <laughs> when you get old, you stop giving a shit. My girlfriend is super into Christmas. She like really likes Christmas. So we still do quite a lot of Christmas stuff. She's pretty into birthdays as well, actually. Like, she didn't give a shit about New Year's, but she's pretty into birthdays and Christmas, so... We still do quite a lot of, um... Stuff for those. But I kind of agree, like, I don't really... I don't really care that much about my birthday. I'm not really that invested. But my girlfriend's really into birthdays, so she... She makes it, you know, she makes it more interesting. How'd the keyboard gift go over? She really likes it. I personally... I think the click clacks aren't enough click clacky. Because they're quite... Uh, they're not as... They're nowhere near as click clacky as my one. But she says she's happy with it. She says she really likes it. So, I said we can change the switches if she wants. Because it's a fully customizable keyboard. But she seems like she's pretty happy with it at the moment. So, I might just leave as is. Well, yeah, I knew it wasn't. I mean, like, I just meant, like, the actual sound. Like, obviously, I knew the quality wasn't going to be anywhere near as high as my one. Because mine is a mad fancy keyboard. For those of you who don't know, Copycat made me a keyboard because Copycat is a nerd and loves making keyboards. So he sent me like a really fancy keyboard. So yeah, I have a really nice keyboard now, but I got Cheryl a pretty nice keyboard. Like it's not as nice as mine, but it's still pretty, it's still pretty damn fancy. See you Inferno, nice knowing you. Ah, unlucky my guy. But yeah, she likes it. I'm, I, said, I, I said I'd get her some matcha keys, like for her birthday probably this year. I'm going to get some keycaps to change out the keyboard so it's matcha. Holy shit, devs? Isn't this the guy that got drunk and, and started ranting on my stream? Exciting times. Exciting to see an old, an old, uh, old name in the in the neighborhood again. I don't even know what the switches in my keyboard are, Jeffrey. You probably know better. Aren't they GM? Are they GMKs? Did I make that up? That's the that's the thing that comes to mind. Oh, almost. Almost got there. The blocks. Not quite though. Oh shit. I actually don't know if I can kill this guy in time. Oh, go on, Buggy. You can do it. Alright, good job, Buggy. Almost got me. Almost got me on that missile. Now you end up with the awkward trying to fight tanks with bike spam though, which is not great. A lot of lasers, man. A lot of lasers. 
Tactics. My mouse? My mouse is less fancy. I have a Steel Series Rival 110 gaming mouse. Which I guess is still kind of fancy. 